All right, so today I'm ordering the entire menu from a fast food chain I've never tried before. So I'm pretty excited. In fact, you might say I'm a jolly beard. Ah, Leeds. I always feel reinvigorated when I come to my hometown. Sadly, I don't live here anymore. But uh, it's always refreshing to come back. A little bit like when, uh, you know, Superman flies really close to the sun, he gets an energy boost. Anyway, I'm rambling. So this is Jolly Bee. I mean, the, the logo makes sense. It's a bee which looks reasonably jolly. Can I, I'm gonna order quite a lot of food. The six piece chicken joy bucket. I've got to get gravy. I'm from Yorkshire, right? Chicken burger, double chicken burger. Tropical chicken burger, four chicken tenders. Can I get the rice bowl? Two, um, two piece burger steak with a side. Two burgers with mushrooms on top. <laughs> Whose idea was that? The yum burger with cheese, the double yum burger with cheese, the jolly hot dog, jolly spaghetti, some fries, and a chocolate coconut sundae. I think I've got everything. Yeah, I think so, yeah. So that's, that's it. It's a nice store, the decor is really pretty quirky, I like it. But this is, this is to prove that I actually have fans. <laughs> Mate, I love the channel. Yeah? I love the greasy pig video as well, the big Oh, that's a good one. I got it, I got it. This is harder than it looks. I'm getting a pump. I'm getting a pump. Jolly B. Let's take this thing for a spin. So here in front of me I got one of every item, or at least one of every different item available on the Jolly B UK menu. And uh yeah, let's cut to the quick and eat it all. I'll throw up a calorie count on screen and I'll put a timer up there somewhere. Lately I've been doing the uh, the digital timer thing instead of using the crusty old plastic one. So let me know what you think of that. And uh without further ado, this is Baby's Food and this is the entire Jolly B menu challenge. By the hairs on my chinny chin chin, where do I begin? This all looks so different. Let's go with the chicken tenders. What's up, Ben Welcome back to another episode. An episode you might have noticed. It's kind of a bumper episode. It's about twice as long as uh, videos I, I normally do, but that's probably because it's been a while since I did a full menu challenge, right? And um, Jollibee recently opened in a, in a city quite close to me. So I thought I would give it the uh, the old beard treatment, you know? I would say that's more of a fillet than a tender. That's pretty big. Yeah, they are not shy when it comes to the size of their items here at Jollibee. I, I, was, I was pleasantly surprised, and the chicken tenders were, uh, I, I mean, they lived up to their name. They were, they were pretty tender, which was surprising to me. The tenders were pretty good. It's quite rare that you get fast food chicken, which is still juicy, especially after a 40 minute drive back to the studio, which, by the way, I don't know if this looks cool or unnecessarily overdramatic. It's like an interrogation scene from an Oliver Stone movie or something. <laughs> <laughs> that is an obscure reference. Nobody's going to get that uh, that was born after, I don't know, like 1988 <laughs> or something. Yeah, I'm getting old. So these things are called Chicken Joy? Yeah, they were... I mean, they weren't particularly joyous, I've got to say. They weren't as, as aptly named as the chicken tenders, which were, like I said, <laughs> pretty tender. Uh, yeah, these were, I mean, they weren't bad. I, I still prefer them to uh, KFC original recipe chicken. I think that's mostly because they're not necessarily better, but the batter they use seems to be sweeter, and I like that whole kind of sweet, salty thing, but uh, they were a little dry. I didn't want to get just one piece of Chicken Joy, so I got the uh, the six-piece bucket. I guess this is their equivalent of uh, KFC Original Recipe Chicken. Already said that in the commentary. Shut up. You make us look unprofessional. Between that and the, the wobbly table and the sound. <laughs> oh, the sound is so bad on this video. I, don't worry, I, I am fixing it. It's just a question of dialing in a few things. At the, at the new studio, so you know, um, you have to 
<laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Give me a break. It's just trying to hit and miss. Yeah, I, I would say maybe one, one out of the six pieces of chicken joy, one or two maybe, were passable. The, the rest were a little bit naff. It doesn't seem quite as juicy as the chicken tenders. Yeah, crunchy though. Can you hear that? It's crunchy if, uh, if nothing else. Anyway, while we're eating the chicken, I should say welcome to my, uh, what would you call this? Anti-chamber? I don't, I don't know, one of the many rooms at my, uh, my new place. I hope you like it. We've got a, a wacky plaid sofa in the background for no reason. Some, uh, little shop of horrors. Vines growing out the walls. Ooh, picking a bone out of my teeth. That was a close call. All right, now we're into some of the more fun items. Let's go with the, uh, the Yum Burger. <laughs> I, I don't really know why I find the the menu items at Jolly Bee so funny. <laughs> they seem kind of quite literally named. The Yum Burger was pretty yummy though, a little odd. Uh, and I don't know what the dressing on there is, but um, it, it tastes a lot like Thousand Island, but it, it gave it something else. It tastes like uh, the kind of burger you would get from a, a van at a football stadium, but with uh, what tastes like Thousand Island dressing on top. See, that, that makes it sound like a bad thing, right? Because the the food vendors at football stadiums typically aren't, you know, <laughs> let's just say they're not fantastic. But there's a certain charm to them. A lot of people like those uh, those types of burgers. So I, I think that was one reason I actually kind of uh, enjoyed these. I don't know why I'm just staring at the camera here. <laughs> what you looking at? They were pretty good, though. I'm impressed by the texture. Nothing's dried out too much. This is the, uh, the double chicken burger in the brioche bun. For a fast food burger, this does look pretty good. Yeah, now we're getting to it. I, this actually, it turns out, this was not the double. This is just a single. You think by the age of 35, I, you know, I should be able to count, but um, alas, <laughs> not to be. Oh, no, wait, this is the, uh, I thought there weren't two, uh, two chicken fillets in there. Oh. That's a mouthful. I just like, I momentarily sounded like a robot there. I, I don't know what I did. Uh, amateur hour. Anyway, yeah, the, the chicken burgers, these for me are the standout things on the Jollibee menu. I really enjoyed all of these. Ugh. That was a substantial burger. Yeah, these things, they're surprisingly big. They're kind of more the thing you would expect from a burger restaurant, you know, rather than a, a fast food chain. The, uh, the tropical burger. <laughs> this is a chicken burger with bacon, cheese, and a piece of pineapple on top. I dread to think how people are reacting now. People get mad when I have uh, pineapple on, on pizza, so. It works, that is lush. I mean, inevitably, the whole thing falls apart, but it does taste good. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, what, what it lacks in uh, in structural integrity, it makes up for in flavor, trust me. I thought that was gonna be disgusting, but it was great. Mm. Look at that, a face only a mother could love. I've got to say, the, 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 the tropical burger, that's going right to the top. I, it, that could be in my top top five fast food items. So that's a big statement to make, but I, I really enjoy that. All right, so up until there, I understand Jollibee. I, I kind of get it. Fried chicken, chicken tenders, beef burgers, but um, spaghetti, that's kind of out of left field. Why would you sell spaghetti at a fried chicken place? Let's do this, uh, this rice bowl first. Now I think about it though, are they selling spaghetti at a fried chicken place or are they selling fried chicken at a spaghetti place? Who knows? That's a pretty measly portion. I think I'll dip those in the, in the sundae at the end. Now this, I have no idea who came up with this. Whose idea was it to sell two burger pies with some gravy, mushrooms and, uh, and rice? <laughs> <coughs> I'm gonna, I need to put some sauce on this. Sweet chili, I think this is. They forgot the additional gravy too. Come on, so thick. I, I mean, what the heck is this dish about? I don't get it. 
just two pathetic burger patties with some mushrooms on top, a little bit of gravy and rice. Whose idea was that? <coughs> you wanna go grab some food at Jollibee? Yeah, yeah. What are you gonna order? Oh, I think I might order two burger patties with some mushrooms on top. <laughs> that Jollibee restaurant has been open like three days, but I'm almost certain I'm the first person to actually order this. Who would order this? Who? There was that robot voice thing again. I don't know who would order this. Nobody in their right mind, that's for sure. I kind of I did this the wrong way around. I ended up with the, the worst items at the end. <laughs> that is a, uh, a strange menu item. Right, this is the Jolly Spaghetti. I think this is kind of what Jolly Bee is most well well known for. I'm told it's a little bit sweet. Ooh, a little, there's some little chunks of uh, pepperoni or pork sausage in there or something. This is gonna... For, for those of you that, that keep asking me to do a spaghetti challenge, this is really why I've never done one. Because it's really hard to eat spaghetti with a beard. I'm just gonna have to get dirty. Same thing we do every week, Pinky. It's like eating the noodle soup all over again. Yeah, I don't, uh, well, I, I, there isn't quite as much of it. That's uh, that's one thing. But I mean, the spaghetti was... I, I, it wasn't bad. And I don't want to say it was really good. It was unique, I'll give it that. But there was something about the, the sweetness of it which was a little off. Ugh. Clearly, I'm not thinking about presentation at this point. It's just me with a, a bowl of spaghetti up at my face, just stuffing it in there. Mm. All right, there we go. Spaghetti down. Just a few more items to go. A little clean up. Take a two-second breather, and we'll get into the hot dog. The spaghetti definitely has a a unique taste. It almost tastes like it's artificially sweetened or something. All right, this is a hot dog with cheese on top and some kind of greeny yellow sauce that looks not unreminiscent of uh, some kind of bodily mucus. Oh, no. I'm reliving it. I'm reliving the flavors all over again. This tastes as bad as it looks. <laughs> oh, I can't even put into words. This is, this was so bad. It's, it's kind of a shame. At least it's only one item. The rest of the stuff was really unique. I, I actually enjoyed most of it. But this hot dog. <laughs> I have no idea what that sauce was on there. But you... <laughs> All right. Credit to Jolly Bee for pretty much everything up into the hot dog. That was absolutely dire. If you're gonna go to Jollibee, don't get the hot dog. The hot dog's so bad, I'm actually looking forward to the fries. I think it would be unfair to, uh, to judge the fries because they are pretty cold now. Yeah, I mean, potatoes is potatoes, right? Everyone knows how I feel about fries. These didn't seem particularly bad, just cold which is you know <laughs> understandable but um i did fix the heating just um a shame that i haven't yet fixed the sound <laughs> and this table is is temporary and wobbly um so uh yeah i promise <laughs> i'll get those fixed in time for the, for the next one thanks for watching i'll catch you next time i don't think i'm gonna need the spoon Food and that was the uh, the entire Jollibee UK menu, which was by and large pretty good. That hot dog was heinous, though. It's terrible. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you at the next one. Oh, that's quite a lot of food. Those balls are deceptively large. <laughs>
Ooh, a little shred of spaghetti in there. 